Hey guys, um, this is Kelly Ratliff from Central Elementary here in Johnson County, and I'm with. Uh, I'm Dustin Blair, and I'm also here at Central Elementary in Johnson County. And this is our ARI grant for tabletop lessons. Um, our area of focus, um, something that we thought about the problem of practice includes the lack of hands on learning opportunities for special education students in the classroom. For some students, um, this is a um, they have a problem with uh, sometimes they'll get embarrassed or they don't want to uh, they're afraid of what their classmates might think of them if they answer something wrong or even just the possibility of their disability coming out in class. So sometimes they don't want to speak up and answer. So we thought that these dry race boards would give them an opportunity to help them express themselves in class. Um, another thing we thought of with the hands on of tabletop lessons where they could write on the table, they would feel more included because often they lose track when trying to type notes or write notes. And this gives them a chance to feel like they're part of the actual lesson. Um, with that being said, our research question come from, will using the hands-on opportunities that provide the retention of basic educational concepts, like fostering reading skills, comprehension, math skills, to those students that are in special education, will it help them function more towards their same age peers because we we know they're below will this help close that gap so why dry erase tables so hands-on instruction um i know uh, kelly and myself we're big on uh, engagement in our classroom we like to make sure that students are moving around doing as much hands-on as possible uh, these tables provide that for them they're able to you know, move around and work on those tables, express themselves, not only with other students, but with me or uh, Ms. Ratliff or any of their teachers, they're able to express themselves. Um, and with that being said, like it makes learning fun. Nobody wants a boring classroom. So if they're up and they're moving around and it's interactive and engaging, uh, the students are going to be having fun. I've watched Ms. Ratliff already has one in her classroom and I've got to watch the kids interact and they have fun when they do it. So and when learning's fun, then you're going to have more desirable outcomes in your classroom. Um, based it off what Dustin just said about learning being fun, that brings us to our next part, which is reinforcement. Um, I use my table I already have as a reward for hard work and good behavior. Those that work hard and have good behavior, they get to spend more time at the dry erase tables and get to do more work on the dry erase tables. And it really encourages and reinforces that, hey, if I do this, I'm going to get to do the fun stuff. And it almost takes the learning uh, to a different level because they don't realize when they're having this fun and they're trying really hard that they're learning as much as what they're learning. And um, another way, I really, really like this last one. It's really easy for my kids, especially to... Um, go through and lose papers we lose papers on the daily and this way if i want to do a quick assessment i just have them basically write it on the book on the table and i walk by i check them really fast and i go on and that that's how i do most of my quick assessments and i'm able to adjust and correct their mistakes right then and there don't have to worry about them losing papers don't have to worry about me losing the papers because it's right there. If it's something I need to keep, I just snap a quick picture of it and I send it in my Google Drive. Um, our action plan is we're going to look at the data that he collects from his special education his special education classroom compared to the data I collect from mine. Um, my students are a lot different from his. They have a lot more learning disabilities, physical disabilities and are at a lower level, even though they're the same age as some of the peers that are in his class. So we're gonna um, do different activities. Some will be basically the same on different levels. And we're gonna compare that data. And then we're gonna actually compare that data to some of the data of the regular non-disabled peers, just to see if our students did make the growth that they, um, we want them to see and that they expect to see. Um, these are gonna be, like you said, a way for these kids to communicate. Um, they write little notes to each other. They write little notes to me. They don't have to feel embarrassed. And that's what we want. We want our kids to feel safe and comfortable in our classrooms. And hopefully this grant provides that safe haven for these kids that we work with daily.